Unsure how to get started using notebooks? In this video, we'll walk you through step-by-step step on how to get started and give you some tips and pointers throughout the way. To create a notebook, simply click New and click Notebook. The first interface you see is the file upload. Here you can add in the file you want to start off with, along with the prompt and what you want to do, much like our traditional threads interface. Want to start with a blank canvas instead? Click the empty notebook and this will bring you straight into the notebook to add in any cell you want. Speaking of cells, check out this playlist which has each cell broken down. Looking for an overview? Check out our documentation in the description. Now let's get to the notebook steps. Most analysis within Julia starts with four key phases. The first one is loading the data and previewing it. The second is checking the data for quality issues. Third is doing the analysis and getting visualizations. And fourth is generating insights and the next steps. In this example that we're going to show you, let's work with some e-commerce sales data. First, we'll add in our file cell and add a prompt cell to preview it. Next, we'll add in a prompt cell to instruct Julius to load and preview the data, checking for quality issues. We'll add another prompt cell to create and filter to restructure it. Once our data looks ready, we'll instruct Julius to do the exploratory data analysis, looking for any interesting insights or relationships. Then we'll ask Julius to create any interesting visualizations. Not getting the visualization you're looking for? Check out this video on how to get better charts and visualizations on Julius. Creating visualizations and charts is where notebooks shine. Here you can easily iterate, rerunning specific cells with updated instructions, adding in more cells to refine the data for your visualization, or removing the cells when Julius isn't quite going in the right direction. Notebooks allows you to easily work forwards and backwards, adding in and removing steps in between. For next steps, we'll ask Julius for a summary or next steps. You can even add in user prompts to ask the user what file type they'd like Julius to output to. Finally, add in text blocks to give any context about your analysis, such as headers, summary sections, and anything else you would need. You can even add in images or videos. And that's how you can run a basic analysis in Julius. Remember, once you have a polished notebook, you can reuse it over and over again, and even create a template for you or your team to use. Hopefully that's helpful. If you're looking for any other specific guides or resources, let us know in the comments section below. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.